All right, let's go over some of the new features of the GoPro Hero 12 Black. This is a very nice camera, just released, but we'll go over some of the new features over the Hero 11 Black, and some of these features were on the 11, but I don't think any of them, this, these features I'm going to go over were on the 9 Black, which was my last GoPro, and I also have the 8, but we'll start here. First up, you have an 8.7 aspect ratio, and that's now available in all video resolutions and some of the other modes. You have the addition of HDR support for video. You have a longer run time before it hits the thermal shutdown, so it doesn't overheat as quick, basically. Now, this one does have GoPro's new HyperSmooth 6.0. That's their newest generation of stabilization, and I haven't tested it against, like, my 9 or anything, but it does look really, really good. Now, they also added Horizon Lock on this, and that keeps your horizon level when you're in certain video modes. So no matter how far you spin it, whatever you're shooting stays level. It doesn't twist with the camera. So that's a pretty neat feature. Go ahead and power it on here and I'll show you some of the stuff on the menu. Now in the, in the simple mode, it has a pro mode and then a simple mode here on the video selection. So it makes it a lot simpler to choose between stuff. So you've got this right here on the screen. Just touch this. And that comes up with your framing, your widescreen, vertical, or full frame. So you can go vertical right here, still mounted in your mount. So if you've got it on like a helmet mount or anything, you don't have to get an adapter to make it hold sideways. If you're wanting to record vertical video, you can simply just select vertical on the menu and you're good to go. Now, another neat thing this camera has is it has Bluetooth that will connect to your AirPods or any other Bluetooth earbuds. And it allows you to use those earbuds not only for your voice control, but also as your microphone. So if you had this mounted, say, on the outside of your car and you wanted to vlog or narrate while you were driving or whatever, you could have your earbud in and use it wirelessly to be able to still get good audio and not have to worry about, you know, just getting wind noise or whatever otherwise or having to do voiceover or anything like that. That's a pretty neat feature, especially if you're going to be vlogging. It gives you a lot more options with that. Now, as far as your front screen goes, it is still not a touch screen. It's just the display, not a touch screen, unfortunately. Now, one of my favorite features and one of the things that actually sold me on upgrading now, because I've been thinking about upgrading, just hadn't been sold on it yet, with the new 12 Black is the addition of a quarter 20 mount. I use my GoPros on tripods all the time, and before I had to have this little adapter in here to go to a quarter 20 tripod mount. Now, I can screw it directly into the GoPro. And not have to have an added adapter in the way or just have to keep track of because these things seem to get lost. A lot simpler just to be able to screw it right on there. Now they did also add several pro video items and that's way above my pay grade. But they added GP log and LUT support. And they also added time code sync. So if you're using more than one GoPro 12 Black, you can sync them and you set up time code sync and sync via that. Now the GoPro 12 also has the optional Max Lens Mod 2.0 and the 2.0 version for the GoPro 12 in 4K60 gives you 177 degree field of view, so extreme wide field of view. Now the GoPro 12 Black does include the new Enduro battery and this is a longer runtime battery. They've added the new photo intervals feature. And they did remove GPS from this GoPro. So the 12 Black no longer has GPS like the ones before it. So you can't do the GPS overlay, anything like that. So if that's a feature you're really wanting, unfortunately, it's gone for the 12 Black. Now this will record slow-mo up to 8x at 2.7K. And the resolution max on this camera is 5.3K at 60. 